Finally. Right, so, so since this whole denim thing got started, I don't know when that was, long time ago. We've lost a few amazing brands along the way and for whatever reason, this is one of them. I've wanted a piece of, a piece from this brand for, for, for so, so long because when I first saw it, I, I just didn't get it, I didn't understand it. Um, I thought it was garish, I thought it was way over the top, and I thought it was, yeah, it was just, it was just too much for me. But then the, the more I learned about denim, I mean, this is going back seven, eight years when I first started getting into raw denim. The more I started to learn about raw denim, the more I understood how amazing this brand is or was, and got really, really fascinated with it. But it had stopped in 2012 and there was just very, very few pieces available. Are you curious yet? I'm curious because I've, I've not even looked inside this box, so I've just seen pictures. Let's look. Okay. Where's my knife? Give me a sec. Oh, I'm excited. So this is a jacket from the now sadly dead brand Atelier La Durance. Um, let me get rid of that. <sighs> right, so what we've basically got here, we've got Type 2 inspired jacket. Pockets are a little bit lower down, so it's towards that kind of sort of French workwear kind of style as well, which makes sense. A beautiful sal salvage Japanese denim. We've got a big, thick, like super thick, super textured leather patch with uh, gold lettering on it. We've got beautifully branded laurel leaf buttons. We've got a label with the name of the brand and 49 Japanese denim. We've got another beautiful label down here. Okay, I mean, if you just look at this jacket right now, you can see it. And this is the problem I had with it at the beginning. It's a bit garish, right? I mean, you've got the super dark denim, you've got lots and lots going on. You've got uh, the tobacco and the lemon stitching. Okay, it's kind of traditional, but then you've got the indigo stitching with the dark tonal stitching along with that as well for the pleats. You've got these big blingy gold buttons. You've got the pockets, which have got like rivets on the inside. The rivets are stunning. Anyway, they've got rivets on the inside, then they've got this um, Bartak cross stitch sort of V style on the outside. Then you've got in this sort of tonal stitching and this sort of blue stitching, the sort of indigo blue stitching, you've got this this cross. It's, it's kind of hard to see here. Also, these uh, three parallel lines running here. It's a lot. There's a lot going on with this jacket. But the thing is, it's a nod to so many references and it's also something that's just is made to fade all of these like over the top sort of blingy features once the jacket fades down or the jeans once they fade down all of this becomes much more subtle and much more tonal and this cross stitching here what they've actually done they've sort of they folded over the denim and then they've sort of doubled it up and then done, done this cross out of it so that pops out as you wear it, as the fades go along. Yeah, it is beautiful, it's incredible, really. We've got some waist adjusters here as well. Same branded buttons. Let's have a look at the inside. Oh, I can already see I'm gonna like this. Okay, I don't like that too much. You've got, it seems like kind of an afterthought. So the website, Atelier de la, 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 Atelier la Durance. I'm probably butchering that name, but whatever. 
You've got that stamped in there. You've got your little Made in France label there. The inner seams here have been taped, so there's no sellers detail going up there. It's, it's just taped instead. You can see in the back of the buttons here. Yeah, they've, they're also branded. You've got the name of the jacket, the Royal Jacket, and that is sewn on underneath the leather patch, so you don't get any sort of unnecessary back stitching. Um, it's a nice, it's, it's a really, really nice detail. Um, Leonard from Benzai Denim Developers, he does the same thing. Kind of like hides stitching on the inside by things on the outside. You know what I mean. <sighs> what else, what else, what else, what else can I check out? Let's see what's in the pockets. Are they lined? Are they not lined? Of course they're lined. Oh, what's this fabric called? It's this sort of traditional French, um, it's almost like a, a picnic blanket kind of fabric. And Atelier de la Durance were known for, for using that for their pocket bags, for their pocket linings. And it's a nod towards the place of manufacture of France. And yeah, if we go right the way down. And nice, you can see here where it's been marked for whatever reason. But then the, then this is very, very important. The pocket bag has actually been stitched onto the front of the, the pocket here with this cross stitching. And that's important, especially, especially in jeans. Jackets, I'm not too sure. But as you're taking things in and out of the pocket all the time, uh, the pocket lining does wear down over time, um, naturally. And it would open up. And if you've just got it like flapping around inside, it's gonna catch all the time, it's gonna sna snag. But if you've got uh, the front and the back stitched together, it's going to be less likely to do that. Oh, everything's just done so clean. And this, this jacket is in amazing condition. I got this off a guy in the Netherlands. Um, he was selling it on the Dutch eBay. Um, a shout out to a good friend of mine who's living in the Netherlands at the moment, who helped me out on all of that. I don't know, does she want her name out there? I'll ask her, and if she does, I'll put a link to her Instagram down in the description. Ah, okay, let's have a look at the cuffs here. Okay, we can see a close-up of the rivets now. Again, the rivets are just fantastically done. Like the, the plate on top and the nub here, which is usually sort of sticking out and can catch on things and scratch on things. That's why I hammered it down in the, in the video about my Levi's. I'll put a link to that somewhere. This time it's been hammered down enough sort of underneath the washer so it's not going to catch on anything and it's, com it's completely smooth. Yeah, the cuffs are cuffs, I'm not too sure what to say about that. The question is, um, does it fit? Uh, what? I, I, I took the measurements that he sent me over and I know it's going to be a tight fit for sure, um, but I wanted it for the collection. And really, it's just this, this guy must have never ever worn this. And this, the last reference I could find to this on the net was, I think, 2009. So I don't know how long this has been hanging in his closet, but yeah, just the most minimal size of fading. Let's see if it fits. I think so. It's, it's perfect in the arms, it's perfect in the shoulders, it's fitted. Oh, I can just wear it open. Anyway, I need to lose some weight. This will give me some encouragement. Same with those uh, Levi's. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm delighted with this, really. I'm super, super delighted with this. I remember I'd go to, to 14 ounce. That was a, it's like a big denim or menswear store back in the day, and they had some of the the best, best denim in the world, like really totally exciting stuff. And this brand was carried in 14 ounce. And yeah, that was the time when I didn't really, as I said, I didn't really understand it, but there was something about it that just stuck with me, probably because it was so garish and so bling bling. Um, and now it's, it's just like closing that loop for me. It's like, um, 
I remember going in there, I remember seeing it. I've seen various examples worn by different people over the years and I've wanted something from them. I think I've wanted a jacket. I mean, denim jackets are my thing over jeans. That's kind of what I collect because the whole denim thing got started. Should do a video about that. Anyway, the whole denim thing got started for me with a denim jacket. So, yeah, I've... Even if it didn't fit, it would just be part of the collection. It does fit, so I'm going to wear it and I will keep you updated with how it's wearing in. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you'd give it a thumbs up. Uh, if this is your first time here and you enjoyed it, it'd be great if you subscribe. All of the links to our social media and all that good stuff is down in the description as well. And I'm going to see you in the next vlog.